So guys, it's Cool Story Bro, and today's video, I will be showing you how to connect to your time capsule or airport time capsule with any iOS device, such as the iPhone, an iPad, and of course, the iPod Touch. Now, this is my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I got this good steal of a price, I gotta say, and I got the 256 gig version. Now, the reason why I got the 256 gig version is because a one terabyte and a 512 gig is really useful for an iPad. But for me, I'm not really gonna use that much storage because I'm always using my time capsule and my airport time capsule, pulling videos on, photos on, or when I make a YouTube video up and I need it, again, I actually just convert it to my airport time capsule or my time capsule and I can actually connect it with this iPad, which is awesome. But I just really thought, a 256 gig is a good storage for me. So first of all, you want to go on the App Store and download File Browser, which is this one right here. So just give me a sec, this one where my finger is pointing. I'll leave the link in the description and the file, the application name as well, so you can actually download it on the iOS Store. And you wanna click on it, try and focus in for you guys. So as you can see, at the bottom, I'm already connected to my time capsule. So that is my time capsule. But today's video, I want to connect to my airport time capsule. It's exactly the same method as a time capsule. What you wanna do is go on the top and press this plus icon. Now it's going to ask, device am I connecting to? So there's so many to choose from, but for today, it's going to be an airport time capsule. I'm just gonna press computer network drive. Now, if you go all the way down, you can actually see a name called time capsule. So of course, you click on it, and then you will see all your time capsules. For me, I've only got two models. If you've got four or five or six or seven, you will see them all here as long as they are actually switched on and ready to be streaming. I'm going to airport time capsule and then it says fill in your account details so your account name and password. You don't have to fill both of them in. You can just fill one in. So right now I'm actually gonna put my password in. Now once you press connect, you will be diverted back to the interface of the main menu, of course, and then you are greeted with the airport time capsule. As you can see, there's two now, there used to be one. Now there's two. All you have to do is press it, highlight it, and then press data. And this is everything that is on the airport time capsule. This is my latest one with the buggy. So as you can see, fully working, beautiful colors as well. And of course, say if you wanted to watch a video and you kind of wanted to have it in slow mode, if you go at the bottom of here, there's like a little arrow and a down arrow. And then you can actually change the way the video is. So it's like slow mode now. And then you can speed it up, which is really fast as you can see. And then two times, which is quite fast. And then say if you didn't like it in this, you want it as the full screen as the iPad itself or the iPhone, you can press this at the bottom and it goes into the literally full screen. So I'm actually just going to turn it to the normal. There we go, to the normal speed. And there we go. And say if you want to just watch like not all the video, you want to watch like a part of it, you can just do this, skim through the video. And then say you wanted to go at the near the start, you can press that. Just scroll all the way through it with your fingers, pretty easy. And say if you wanted to turn it down, it's pretty easy, just press that. Or just put your hand on it and scroll down like you're just scrolling through the video. And it turns it down, which is awesome. Now another cool feature, you can press done when you finish with it, but if you didn't want to do that and you wanted to kind of have a glimpse of what's next on the time capsule, if you press this little arrow, which is right down here, you can actually see everything that is on your time capsule. So I'm just gonna click on this. So this is a photo. This is a beautiful castle of where I live in my hometown and I like sometimes going up there and taking a, a selfies and taking photos and stuff like that. And it's beautiful because it's just the same as the iPhone and iPad and iPod Touch, should I say. 
you can pinch the zoom, as you can see. So you can go really, really close, see the detailing of the windows, and then on the top of the castle, or zoom really out, so you, you know, so it's really zoomed out like that. And then, say you just wanted to watch the video that you're watching, just slide left to right. Really easy navigation. Pinch to zoom again, as you can see. Really nice. So here's another one. There's a beautiful one with the with the sun actually shining out. As you can see, really, really nice. Look at the quality on that. Really, really nice. And it's full screen as well. That's really nice. So yeah, that is how you connect time capsule and your airport time capsule to your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. And of course, say if you do have these devices like me, and say you wanted to watch it on your Apple TV, you press this airport icon. And then it will bring up all your devices. So it's on the iPad at the minute. I have it to the living room, which is my home pod, and the living room, which is the Apple TV. So if you put it onto Apple TV, you put the code in that's recommended on the TV to connect to your Apple TV, and you can actually watch it on your Apple TV. Say if you've got like a beautiful memory, like so say if you wanted to have a photo on it, like this, a picture of me, or I don't know, so like a vacation photo, you know? you can actually put it on your TV and you can swipe through it while it's just on your Apple TV. So it's kind of having a your own very own sideshow, which is pretty awesome, right? There is an app charge on it. It's roughly a yearly or monthly. It's not gonna break your bank account because I'm subscribed to it. It's gonna show all my details. And I don't really wanna put that on YouTube because I'll probably get cleaned out my bank account. So that's why I'm actually not gonna put that on YouTube. It's really affordable. It's not gonna break your bank. It's just awesome. And as well, you can connect to the devices that you love, such as the airport time capsule and the official time capsule. Which time capsule you got? So say if you had the first one like me and then you have the second one, you can connect to any of them devices. As long as they're switched on and they're ready to stream, they should connect. And you can connect to other devices, but as you know, I'm a big Apple user, so I mainly connect to my Apple time capsule and airport time capsule. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this helps you. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems. I'll be sure to help you as soon as possible. And I just want to say thank you for all the subscribers that subscribe to my YouTube. This is my new iPad, 12.9 inch, 256 gig, and I got it for a good steal price. Do more videos such as I'm going to do a GTA video in a couple of days. Hopefully you stay tuned for them videos and like says, thanks for watching guys.